This is a review on the Crossman Fire Nitro Piston Air Rifle. So in this review, we're going to talk about the stock, we're going to talk about the trigger, the scope that the gun comes with, and the accuracy with the four different kinds of pellets that I tested. Before we start the review, I want to remind you guys to uh, click the like button, subscribe to the channel for more reviews because I do have more uh, on the way. Also, I want to apologize if you hear the neighbor's chicken, because my neighbor has like five chickens and they are loud right now. It's midday and they're, they're going at it. Uh, with that out of the way, let's talk about the stock on this air gun. As you can see, it's actually a pretty good looking stock. And it's very comfortable and the center of balance is right in front of the trigger guard, like right where you want it. So it's very comfortable to shoot off the bag. It's also very comfortable to shoot freehand in the field. So I like this stock a lot. Up next, we're gonna talk about the trigger that Crossman put on this rifle. Now, this is the trigger from before Crossman updated them to make them usable. So what that means for you is this trigger has a very, I'm not gonna say heavy first stage, but it's a very, it's, it's moderately heavy first stage. And the second stage, <clears throat> before it breaks, there is a ton of creep and a ton of roll, and it's pretty heavy. Somewhere, I'm guessing between three and five pounds. I actually modified my trigger by putting in an, uh, a different screw that I had laying around so I could get the second stage roll to be a little bit less. So if you do plan on picking this gun up, I would recommend getting the aftermarket trigger. I think it's like a GRT3 or something like that. Or find another screw that's a little bit longer with the uh, same thread pitch and everything. Just be very careful doing that as it can render the gun unsafe. So keep that in mind before you buy this gun. Up next, we're going to talk about the scope that comes with this air rifle. Uh, it's garbage. It, it's a really bad scope. I do plan on throwing it away, actually. And the scope that you see on this air gun right now, let me see if I can zoom in there. There you go. That is actually a super cheap CV Life scope that I bought um, probably about five years ago now. And it's not air gun rated, but it's still holding up, surprisingly. This scope is a million miles better than the one that comes with this gun. So do plan on picking up a different scope before, before you even shoot this gun. Up next is the accuracy portion of this review. I'm going to show you a little clip of each pellet and I'm going to talk a little bit about each pellet and what I thought about the groups as we go along. So the first pellet we're going to be looking at is the Crossman Premier Hollow Point 7.9 grain. This pellet normally shoots really well out of my other air guns. This one it did not. First time ever. Um, I expected it to do really well because it's a Crossman gun and a Crossman pellet. But as you can see by the group size at 25 yards, that is not the case. Up next we have the Gamma Tomahawk. These are a very light pellet as well at 7.56 grain. This gun is shooting them at a, about a thousand feet per second. So they are definitely not stable during flight. So getting the group that we did, I'm not super surprised. Up next, we have the Gamo Rocket Pellets. These are 9.6 grain, I believe. And these pellets showed some potential, especially for hunting applications. I would expect if you can master the hold on this gun, you can definitely get usable groups out to 25 and 35 yards for this And pellet. the last pellet we tested today are the H&N Barracuda Hunter Extreme. These are 9.57 grain pellets. They shoot very well out of this gun and every other gun I've tested. Makes sense, they're very high quality pellets. They're very clean pellets from the factory. And again, if you can master the hold on this gun, you will easily be getting groups that you can use out to 25 and 35 yards for hunting or you know, hitting some cans or something like that. The last clip you're gonna see is the 45 yard range test. This was just for fun to see what I could do with the scope. Um, this scope was not meant for that. So maybe I'll do an update video when I get a new scope, which I do plan on doing. And we'll see how far we can push it out. But that was just for fun. And as you can see, the, the group is nothing to write home about. Now, since I don't have a chronograph, 
I borrowed a chart from another YouTuber. If I can find his video, I'll link it in the description. And I'll put that chart up on screen and you can see roughly what this gun is shooting at with the different pellets. Like I said, with the 7.56 ones, I figured they're about a thousand feet per second, plus or minus probably 10 feet per second there. And on average, it's putting out about 16 to 15 to 16 foot pounds of energy. So it's definitely good enough for pest control and small game hunting for sure out to 25 yards. Before we wrap up this review, I want to talk about the pricing and if I would recommend it. Now, here's the thing with this gun. This one that you're looking at right now on screen is the Crossman Fire. On Crossman's website, you can get it for about $135. Or you could go to Walmart and pick up the Crossman F4. That is the exact same gun, exact same trigger, same barrel, scope, and everything. The only difference is the stock. The stock is slightly different, but it only cost $84 brand new. Or you could find the Crossman Incursion, which is the exact same gun. The only difference is the stock is uh, it's a army green color, and it is $156. So, with that being said, I would recommend you pick up the Crossman F4 at Walmart and maybe don't pick up My the other ones. thoughts on this air gun, I like it. I will be keeping it for the foreseeable future. I most likely will be dropping in the upgraded trigger, as I would recommend to anyone. I am also going to be replacing the scope, as I would recommend to anyone purchasing this gun. With that being said, it's a it's a great gun for the money. Uh, Crossman really, they did a great job with this one. If you guys enjoyed this review, please click the like button and subscribe to my channel. Leave a comment down below. And stay tuned for more air gun reviews. There will be a couple of them in the future, along with some other random videos, because my channel doesn't have a theme. And yeah, have a good one.